so good. So, so good. Well deserved of my number one spot. Well deserved. Welcome back, rum fans. My name's Steve the Barman, and I'm here to help you on your rum journey by mainly focusing on rums under £50 in the UK. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be giving a shout out to my top 10 or the 10 best mixers for rum that I guarantee you haven't tried yet. These are phenomenal with any type of rum. I'm going to give you my top 10. I'm going to give you some near misses as well, but I guarantee it, at the end of this video, you're going to be thinking, where the heck can I get those from? Now, you might not realize it, but in 2022, there is a whole world of brand new mixers out there designed to go with some of your favorite rums. Long gone are the days where you simply had a choice of Coke, of ginger beer, or ginger, ginger ale, depending which your favorite pub or bar stops, or Sprite or lemonade. Now the problem is, if you go out to your favorite pub or bar or hotel or restaurant or whatever, they've got big problems because they they will be able to get within reason quite a lot of decent stuff, but A, they've got to get it at a decent price, and B, they can only stock things or mixes that you guys are willing to try. So if they go completely left field on you, you know, you're just going to be looking at thinking, what the hell is that? And it's just going to be sitting as dead stock on their shelves. So when you go out, yes, you're still confronted with the Coke, the ginger beers, ginger ales and lemonades. You might be lucky, well, you will be lucky and you'll get some fever trees, but you might be lucky and you might be able to get some London Essence. You might be able to get some Double Dutch. You might see the old bottle of Fentimans or Franklin's and Sons and maybe just maybe, if you're very lucky, you might see some beavers or Belvoir, as I call them. However, if you're staying in or if you're entertaining at home, the world is your oyster. With the likes of Amazon, with the likes of Ocado, with the likes of all the brands having their own online shops and stores, you can be fully stocked with next day delivery. And this is where my top 10 mixers come into their own. Now, just before I dive into my top 10, I'm going to give you some very, very near misses that I think aren't worth looking at and trying out for yourself. So the first ones I have to give a shout out to are Stratford Sodas. I've got three of them here. Those in the know will think, oh, hang on, there's one missing. Stay tuned. Uh, these are the three very, very near misses. I've got Spiced, which is a lovely mixer. Not kind of a ginger beer, but it has got elements of ginger and other spices in there. The Hedgerow, blackcurrant, bit of blackberry. It's got a little bit of rose in there as well. Absolutely delicious. And the Citrus Mixer, which I kind of call like a long daiquiri. The only issue for me personally, and they are designed for this reason, the only issue for me personally is I do need like five, maybe a bar spoon of sugar syrup added to them. The next mixer I'm gonna give a shout out to is a gunner. There's another gunner featuring in my, actually in my top 10. This is the Twisted. This is lemonade and a hint of mint. Very, very simply, a very easy going mojito. Absolutely banging. Then we come on to my good friends at Rubicon. Again, the only reason these two are not in my top 10 is because I, for me personally, I've got 10 uh, better mixers, but these are phenomenal. I would put these more with kind of, the guava definitely with sort of a, a white, a lighter style of rum, but a passion fruit really sits well with kind of even your darker rums, your spiced rums. Well worth a shout, well worth a look at. They are amazing. Ting for me is also another one that misses out. Now, this will be a firm favourite with a lot of people, but I have got something for me personally coming up uh, a little bit better than this. Grapefruit soda, again, white rums for me is where this sits well, Jamaican white rums especially, uh, but it will mix with kind of aged rums as well, but I think this wheelhouse is sort of a lighter white, essentially Jamaican rum. Two more that I haven't actually got here either, they're uh, very, very good shouts. Vanilla Coke and Dr. Pepper, Docky P as I like to call them. A lot of people uh, like them with rums. For me, they are probably more spiced rum mixes. They will work with kind of aged rums as well, but that for me, personally, they would sit in the whole spiced rum camp, but well worth looking at if you haven't tried them already. This for me also now misses out because I do have something similar that does make my top 10. This is a Fentiman's Tropical Soda, uh, big sort of pineapple notes. The sort of sweetness again is stripped back, which is ideal for a lot of you. Uh, again, I personally would maybe just add a touch of sugar, just a light bar spoon of sugar syrup to that uh, to bring out all those flavours. But kind of, as I say, it's uh, pineapple, there's pear extract in there, there's hints of juniper in there as well. It's a cracking, cracking one, but I've just got a better pineapple 
forward mixer coming up. And then the last one before I dive into my top 10, note this has now been rebranded in 2022. You will see this with a yellow label and sort of brownie, orangey writing, I think it is. This is uh, Franklin's and Sons pineapple mixer with a hint of almond. And there is a good reason why this doesn't make my top 10. It is a phenomenal mixer. I absolutely love it. I just don't agree with how Franklin's and Sons go about their business. You will struggle to get this. You can get it quite easily online if you're willing to buy a case of 24. Franklin's and Sons, I've spoken to you guys many, many times. I do not understand your logic. I do not understand why you want to be exclusive and only sell to people at home in cases of 24 or trade to 24. You mix that up as a four pack, a six pack, that is gonna become a big, big seller. But even on their uh, online sales, a uh, good time in, I think it is, you can only buy a pack of 24. And that's not brilliant for you guys at home. It really isn't. It's a cracking mixer, sell it in six packs. That that is going to easily make my top 10 easily. Right then, so here it is, my top 10 mixes that I think you need to try. And I'm trying to, going to try and give you some rums that I think will work with this, or styles of rums uh, that will kind of work with these mixes. But let's dive straight into it. At number 10, You've just seen two of their sister flavours, the guava and the uh, passion fruit. I love both of these, uh, both of those. But this one, the mango, for me, does pip it. This is an all-rounder. White rum, light rum, spiced rums, dark sort of black rums, kind of the fruity punch. I think this is an all-rounder. It doesn't need any sugar added to it. You can maybe add a wedge of lime to it if you really wanted to. But I think that if you've got a fruity tooth, rum and mango, fizzy, sparkling mango, this is what this is. This is absolutely perfect. So that's number 10. Then in at number nine, of full disclosure, this kind of started at number three and then it went to number four and then number five. I kept thinking of other mixes that I've got here. It was like, oh my God, how can I forget about that? But this, I have settled at this at number nine. This is Old Jamaica Pineapple Soda. Uh, I think this is absolutely amazing. I really do love it. It's got that little extra bit of sweetness. Again, in the same vein as the Rubicon Mango, I think this works with uh, lighter rum. I think it works with gold rum, definitely with spiced rum, definitely with darker rum. It's an all-rounder, easy to get, even in most uh, sort of the bigger supermarkets. Now then, coming up at number eight, Levi Roots. This is not his reggae, 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 reggae sauce, his jerk sauce. This is his version of Lilt with mango. Pineapple, grapefruit, mango, delicious. I haven't, if you noticed, I haven't actually mentioned Lilt yet. Uh, this is Aldi's version. I call it fake Lilt, uh, pineapple and grapefruit. If you can't get that, then that is a great substitute. But I love this, or normal Lilt, obviously. But I absolutely adore this. The mango stuff, it is absolutely amazing. White rum, light rum, gold rum, aged rum, bl uh, black rum, dark rum, spiced rum, Jamaican rum. Oh my God, it is phenomenal. I love it. Coming in at number seven, coconut water. Now I've played a lot with uh, different coconut waters. I keep coming back to this brand, but I actually keep coming back to this one. They are Slightly different, very, very similar, but slightly different. This fit of cocoa, the blue one, is just 99% coconut water. Uh, the white one is 97% coconut water, but 2% coconut puree. It's just got that little extra bit of coconutiness uh, going on in there, and I've fallen in love with that one. I've tried all the other brands, Innocent, uh, you name it, wherever we get in the UK, I keep coming back to this one. This is lovely. Now, the caveat for me, I'm not overly convinced this is an all-rounder. Some spiced rums I've found it works with. I'm not a huge fan of it with dark rum and I'm not a huge fan of it with aged rum. But white rums, I adore this with white rum. It is lovely, absolutely delicious. Now coming in at number six, had to be, didn't it? Gunner, turtle juice. You've got to love a bit of turtle juice in your life. Stripped back uh, flavoring. Some of you, again, might need sugar. Me personally, I can actually just get away with it, it's really, really nice. Mango, lime, hint of coconut in there, delicious. Again, perhaps not an all-rounder, 
Definitely lighter white rums for me personally and Jamaican kind of light rums as, as well in there. Uh, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it with sort of uh, aged or darker rums as such. Or some spiced rums are okay to be fair, but not all of them. But definitely for me, a uh, long mixed drink with white rum. That is amazing. So now we get into the top five. These are the big, big hitters in my world. And at number five, Fever Trees Spiced orange ginger ale do not mess about and i have done because i struggled to get that at one point do not mess about with the refreshingly light the semi-skimmed stuff you need to go in for the proper full fat stuff uh, it tastes so much better i absolutely love it you will struggle to get that you can get it uh, a cardo i think a cardo would do case of 24 um, you can get four packs online from Amazon as well. Uh, a lot of the bigger supermarkets will do the refreshingly light stuff. And yes, you probably could add a touch of sugar, but I've tried it and it doesn't taste the same. I've added a bar spoon of sugar to bring the sweetness out to that and it really doesn't taste the same as that. So full fat, ignore the semi-skim stuff if you can, but full fat, ref uh, uh, fever, I was going to say gunner then, full fat uh, fever trees, spiced orange ginger ale. You name it, rum-wise. Uh, probably, again, not darker rums for me, but definitely light rums, definitely uh, aged rums or lower aged rums, three, five, eight-year-old rums, uh, and definitely kind of uh, some spiced rums as well. Works an absolute treat. And then coming in at number four, I know the Stratford Soda guys have been thinking, where's it coming, where's it coming? It is coming in at number four. It doesn't make my top three purely just because it is that slightly stripped back of sugar, which is perfect for a lot of you guys. Do not let that be its downfall. Um, it's not a downfall. I can personally drink that uh, just about. I do like a little bit extra sweetness if I'm going for a highball, uh, but that is amazing. The tropical is kind of your, like your pineapple and coconut sort of flavours. It's pina colada in a glass, I'm just making sure there's nothing else in there. Just coconut, coconut and pineapple, bit of fructose and citric acid and that sort of stuff. But it is absolutely delicious. And yes, you can add like a little bar spoon of sugar syrup to you want or agave or something like that if you want to sweeten up. But the flavors in that for me are actually better than the gunner turtle juice. I do adore the gunner turtle juice, uh, but pineapple coconut, again for me, white rums, a few spiced rums in there as well. Uh, actually kind of like honey, uh, honey rums as well. I've played around that works really well but sort of lighter and lower aged rums for me uh, that's where that sits but that is delicious Stratford sodas tropical so here we go here's the top three and I'm going to make all of these as we go this one I guarantee it probably 99% of you will not have heard this one will not have seen it you can get it easily online uh, what am I going to do I'm going to do the Grand Añejo one of my sort of uh, favorite rums I, I do like this Grand Añejo uh, plantation there. This, packs of 12, direct from them in Devon. This is stunning. I love it. Absolutely love it. Lushcum, uh, it's the ginger beer, but passion fruit one. It's a passion fruit ginger beer. Now, you could argue that you could, you know, add some passion fruit syrup uh, to your favourite ginger beer, whether it's Old Jamaica, whether it's Fever Tree, whatever. But there's just something about this which is flipping lovely. Give it a good shake because it's got lots of uh, sort of uh, gingery sediment in the bottom there. But this is just gorgeous. Love it. Just that hint of feisty gingerness, but that hint of passion fruit that really does come through in there. I think this is stunning. Again, I, I do think it's an all-rounder. Light rum, spiced rum, dark rum, aged rum. It just works. You can add a wedge of lime in there. It just gives a whole different sort of thing to a, I won't say dark and stormy, but you know what I mean, rum and ginger beer. This is flipping delicious. I love this. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. I've always got a case of that sitting around. Case of 12 sitting there. Oh, so good. Now, coming up in second place... Some of you are going to get really, really annoyed with me here because I wouldn't say this is really easy to get. It is a local brand to me in Cambridge as well. I've known I've known Claire for a lot of years. I think she started up business roughly the same time as me. So about 10 years ago, uh, she's gone from strength to strength. She's won so many awards. 
Uh, she does everything from like plum and cherry, strawberry and rhubarb, uh, ginger beer with chili, all that kind of stuff. That in its own right is phenomenal. Dandelion and burdock, uh, pear and elderflower, posh pops essentially is what she called it. But my flavour, I absolutely love it. And I've just got my local coffee shop to stock these as well because I just drink them uh, like they're going out of fashion. Cream soda with rhubarb. And this is absolutely stunning. I'm going for some Dorleys white rum. I will say, I do think this is white rum only. Try, uh, I will drop a link of where you can buy this from. You can get it in case of 12, I think. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put links in the description below. But this, so I've got some three-year-old Bayesian rum in there. Uh, cream soda with a hint of rhubarb. This is just amazing. Don't think of it as cream soda like anything you've had in your supermarkets. Um, that sort of, like, was it bar or anything like that? This stuff with white rum is gorgeous. I could drink that all day long. I mean, I'd even I was some of my favourites, actually, I do love it with the rum bar. A sort of that sort of Jamaican funkiness coming through as well. But that is, that for me is just dangerous barbecue, hot weather, kind of keep me going a jug. That is just so, so, so good. So then we're finally here. My top, my top pick. I absolutely love this. I uh, fell in love with this. I've had it before, but I fell in love with this at the start of this year, 2022. Uh, I saw it at a bar show, I grabbed bottles and I was just going around different stands and I could not find a rum that it didn't work with. I think it should be a big, big player. This is, is actually Beaver, uh, that's what it's called, it is Beaver, uh, but it, I, I call it Belvoir. This is their Pink Lady, it's their sparkling apple juice and oh my God, I swear to God, this has to be the big, big player. Uh, for rums. If they did more marketing, if Belvoir, Beaver, whatever you want to call it, if they did more marketing, if they were more active in the actual trade, as opposed to sort of like uh, farm shops and the home consumer market and things like that. I mean, I, every farm shop I go to, uh, I see this in the bigger bottles. It's easy to get. You can get it online in the case of 12. You can get it from your most of your local farm shops. They are a big, big farm shop brand. Um, as I say, the bigger, bigger bottles. You name it, it works. Spiced rum, light rum, aged rum, gold rum, dark rum, you name it. I have never found a rum that that doesn't work with. Uh, and just to kind of, one of my favourite drinks, I need to get a new bottle of this, uh, the Ron Kube Añejo Suave, um, sort of a sherry, uh, four-year-old four sort of sherry finished rum. I mean, it's just, this stuff is just to die for. Absolutely banging. Really easy to get, as I say. So, so good. There's just, I, I've never tasted an apple juice that comes as close. It's got the sweetness there. It's delicious with rum. You could perhaps add some ginger to it as well. So good. So, so good. Well deserved of my number one spot. Well deserved.